Hello everybody and welcome to the Phoenix Raceway for the fourth race of our 2023 NASCAR Heat 5 Career Modes Mod Season number 2 here at the Phoenix Raceway where we won the championship of course last season with I believe a third or seventh place finish, something like that we won the title with. And uh, we get ready to get underway here then this uh, spring race of Phoenix where last year we finished in fifth. It's just the stories of the race. Briscoe is a friend. William Byron's fast in practice and he's on the pole. So look out for Willie B to be very fast and in the mix for the win today. We're going to get back underway in the Best Buy machine all the way at the mid-pack towards the back of the field qualifying in position number 24. As we get the green flags out, we are underway here in Phoenix. We're trying to work our way up from 24th. Already making contact there with the two of Austin Sindrick. At the start of the green flag here, he's just uh, gave us no room, so we had to clear Austin Dillon right there. He's already sliding behind us. Dillon's going sideways. We're using up Zane Smith, Kyle Busch through. I try to get away from the two, but he slams into us, shoves us up the track into the eight of Kyle Busch. And now Cindric is a problem, being a bum rival like he's been all these, you know, this whole season. Now he sends us into Kyle Busch once again. We're still trying to work by the two, so we finally have to cede the position, let Cindric go by here. Contact being made. Briscoe's to our inside. So into the 14. He's slamming into Ty Gibbs. They're right behind us. There goes Briscoe and Gibbs. They're crashing, and the caution will come out here in Phoenix already on two laps in. Now we get back underway here from 21st. Uh, with 10 laps remaining in stage number one as we try to work our way up through this field into contention for a stage points, hopefully, as Phoenix is one of the toughest tracks to race at in the game. Of course, we found that as we have not won here at all in the career mode. We've struggled, haven't really had winning speed or handling so far. Josh Berry just squeezing us on the wall, giving us no room. So I hit him big time, and we make some kind of going to three and four. Use up Josh Berry, get around him for 13th. Now trying to work by our teammate of Ross Chastain in 12th, and the Martin Truex Jr. running in 11th in that number 19 machine. Up ahead of him, you have Christopher Busher and Ryan Priest. We're going to go to the inside of Chastain, and we will almost make the pass. Not quite. We save the inside of him through the corner. We clear Chastain now on the exit of the turn two into 12th. Now inching closer to that top 10, only behind Martin Truex and Chris Busher now for a top 10. Suddenly so go underneath Truex for 11th. We take that spot, go right underneath Busher for 10th. Now trying to go three wide with Ryan Priest and Ryan Blaney for 8th here. Not quite. Still three wide down the front straight through the dog leg now. Only eight remaining stage one. Chase Elliott is now leading this race here at Phoenix. He's gone around William Byron as Elliott looks to try to find his way into the playoffs once again to have another shot at the championship. Busher gives a huge shot here. As we had eighth, Busher just punted us out of the way here down this back straightaway. So we make significant contact going to three and four. But we do clear Busher and Ryan Blaze. Busher goes sideways. There goes a 17. Busher's going to spin. He slams the inside wall. Busher crashes hard. No caution. And the next lap later, Blaine gives a shot. He gives us a bump and run for eighth. I try to stick on his outside lane, try to get the position. It is not to be. Blaney clears us. Now here comes the 41 of Ryan Priest. We try to block him down low. Let's go back to the top. Now we go down low through the corner. We get the 41. Ryan Priest is going to slide. And around goes Priest. He spins. And in the outside wall he goes. He just slid up into us. Lost control. He crashes the outside wall. Backs down into Kislowski. And trying to get back going. is right down the racetrack. Racetrack right into Corey LaJoy. Big contact there for Priest. Caution will wave. We will stay out. Restart ninth. Just very quick. Little two lap dash to end stage one. So basically it's a green white checker here to end stage Number one here, the stage points online. We're getting aggressive. Sendy already here into turn one and two. Get to the back and chase. Uh, he's completely sideways. The nine, we're slamming battle on the fence. We're in the wall. Cars going everywhere. The 48, Bowman through the lead. Elliott to second. Hamlin now in third. Larson giving us a big push here down the front. Shush, look out to our inside. We can't make that work. We're squeezed three wide in the middle in a tight situation. Not really where we want to be right now, but we clear. Uh, we let Lugano go by, but we clear Larson and Byron now. So use the inside now in the last lap of stage number one here in fifth, trying to salvage any possible stage points as we send it underneath Jordan Lugano. Big contact, door check him up the racetrack here through one, two. We get to the inside, we make the pass. Now Byron only said three wide move by William Byron. What a power move by the 24. He gets around us. Here comes Josh Berry having a great run. Gives us a push in the corner. We go back to the inside of William Byron. It looks like the stage is going to go to Elliott, who steals it from Bowman. Elliott wins stage one. Bowman second, Hamlin third. We somehow hold on. The fourth over William Byron, who is fifth, and Josh Berry, who is sixth. Then it is Logano, Larson, Wallace, and Chastain. The top ten of the stage is Elliott, your stage one winner here. Uh, Phoenix back underway. Stage number two is Elliott and Bowman. One, two, myself and Hamlin battling for third here. 28 to go. A longer stage two. We're likely have to be one, maybe even two pit stops. Hamlin already squeezed us out of the room. Denny Hamlin putting us in the wall before even turn one, turn two. Still come main contact with us, giving us no room, shoving us way out of the group, causing us a lot of positions. So now I'm pissed at the 11 Denny Hamlin and his bullshit. I can't believe he's. Uh, completely disregarded us, just shoved us way up the racetrack, led to us trying to push too hard. We got up into the wall right there. We're back, and so we send it flying to 3-4, slam Denny Hamlin with all of our might right there. 
He gets loose, who's a ton of positions, but now we have heavy, heavy front damage down to fifth. Couple ups there, we're just trying to hang on to positions now. So here comes Chastain Hamlin. I think Alex can hand him back to our inside, and once again, using us up. I just, um, I, I can't even with Denny. I'm just not even, I just had to let him go. We just have so much damage, there's no speed. We just have to keep letting these guys go. Here comes Zane Smith to our inside. And so I'm like, I need a caution. So we just go full send into turn one two and clean out Ryan Blaney, myself, and Josh Berry. A hard, hard crash head on. In the outside wall we go. If we had DNS turned on, that would have certainly been a DNF, but we do not have DNS turned on. So we are fine. We continue on. We pit drop all the way back to dead last on the grid. We're trying to go stage two, but now we have a little bit more fuel than anyone else does here for the rest of the stage, which can help us just a little bit in strategy wise. We might be able to take uh, two tires instead of four possibly at the end of the stage to give us a big benefit there and get us some track position, hopefully. Currently bang for 33rd here with Daniel Hemrick. We do take the position in the turn three and four here. Now we're going to the inside of Almendinger for a spot inside the top 30. Next up is the 78 of BJ McLeod in 28th. We just keep picking these guys off. We will be where we need to be shortly. So now we go to the inside. So we clear Almendinger. Now we clear BJ McLeod for 27th. Next up, Austin Sindrick and Ryan Priest. The two in 26th, the 41 in 25th. The two that we've had a little bit of contact with today, mainly the two earlier. Of course, Priest spun off of my bumper earlier in the race. I'm going inside of Priest and Eric Jones, that Allegiant Toyota for Legacy Motor Club. We go by both of them. Next up is Harrison Burton and Eric Jones for position. Noah Gregson not far ahead. Elliott still leading this race, driving away, trying to get the victory. As he seems to be the dominant car today, he's getting to Noah Gregson. Big slide. He saves it. What a save by Noah Gregson, but a big mistake on my part there. Sending him way too deep. Big kind of Noah Gregson. He gets loose, spins, saves it, and that almost costs us both momentum. We do get 22nd now. The inside of Ty Gibbs for 21st and right into the back bumper of Christopher Bell for 20th there. As we just got blocked, nowhere to go. How about SVG right now running inside the top 20? Great run for our track house racing teammate, Shane Van Gisbergen. Up in 18th, now about to lose his spot to Christopher Bell. We just send it deep into 3 where We get into Bell, who ends up getting to SVG, unfortunately. And then we go to the outside of Carson Hosevar for 17th place here through turn 1 and 2. Of course, Hosevar, the rookie for Spire Motorsports, having some great runs so far this season, trying to get uh, improve that program. Him and LaJoy and Zane Smith, of course, those are the three drivers up ahead of him. You got Kyle Busch, who's been struggling to start this season. Michael McDowell. And the 45 of Tyler Reddick up there as well. But really, today, the Hendrick cars have been the dominant force today. Phoenix Elliott leading the way. Byron been very fast. Was on the pole. Bowman running up inside the top five. Larson running up, up inside the top ten. But right now, we're stuck back here in 17th. Just trying to get whatever positions we can. So we just punt Kyle Busch off into turn three and four. Kind of a petty move on my part. I definitely don't... Uh, don't feel good about that move now looking back at it. But regardless, we are 16th. Trying to get by Tyler Reddick for 15th. Just... I kind of disregarded Kyle Busch there. Very disrespectful of me. Just punt him out of the way. A couple of later, we're at 16th. Now here comes Ty Gibbs to our inside. We throw a huge block. Maintain the position over Ty Gibbs. I'm coming up the racetrack. 12 to go in stage two. Let's try to maintain the position. We come flying up the racetrack. Big counting to Ty Gibbs. He spins out hard on the outside wall. There goes Ty Gibbs. He will go crashing hard. No caution. Few laps later, we're 14th. Passing a bunch of guys coming in for the scheduled green flag. Pit stops. So now we move up into position number five from 14th to fifth down the back stretch. Next lap later, we're staying out another lap. Go from fourth now to the race lead here once we get around William Byron which we have now so now we are back in the lead here in Phoenix we're going to lead our first laps of the day a couple laps there and for our green flag pit stop we get down to pit road speed limit no problem and come in for a two tire stop two tires and fuel only only going to be right side tires a strategy goal here to hopefully get us some track position and get us some stage points here at the end of stage two so we can at least say that we got stage points in both stages because we're probably not going to get a great finish as Phoenix is one of those tough tracks. Currently scored in 6. So far, the cycle has worked out perfectly for us. We've definitely gone way better than running in 16th up to 6 now. And oh my god, John Harnimacek just slammed. I didn't even see John Harnimacek. He just slammed right to the side of us. I apologize. That's not what I meant to do. We cost him a spot. McDowell gets around him. So now we drop down to 8th behind McDowell and John Harnimacek having a great top 10 run today. Now on the last lap of stage 2, we are in 8th. Just trying to hang on for this last stage point right now fighting with Christopher Bell. Right now we're in position to get three points. We're just trying to get him here. Every point matters, you know, in the quest for that regular season championship. So I don't think we're going to have as dominant of a season as we did last time. We slammed the outside wall there. Here comes Christopher Bell to the outside. Bell gets right around us to make a big mistake, but we send it right back in the side from through three and four. Contact made with Bell. We both slide. We take the position. Chase Elliott has one stage two, but we come through to take home eighth place in a brilliant strategy call. He has a couple of stage points lane. We do get stage points at both stages. Elliott, Byron, Hamlin, Larson, Bowman, as of Hendrick uh, for the top five right now, dominating this race. We get back underway in seventh here with just 30 laps to go in Phoenix. The final stage underway. Gonna be a 30 lap run here to the finish. 
Uh, a very tough race track with a tire wear at the end. He gets the car very ill handling. As now we go racing William Byron, Denny Hamlin, three wide for the lead. We're getting squeezed here. Hamlin squeezing us out of room into Byron. I don't lift. I hit the 11. He goes sideways. There goes Hamlin wrecking big. Hamlin's wrecking the outside wall hard. Hamlin and Byron both go crashing. Hamlin completely ruined his race today. We do lead the lap here with 29 laps to go as we barely hold off Bowman. Byron loses a ton of position. Now we got to hold off Bowman and his teammate Elliott. The nine to our outside, we throw a block, but Chase Elliott gives us a bump and run. We go way up the racetrack, and now we're making contact down at the back straightaway. Chase Elliott trying to take the lead. We send it in the three and four. We let him go by. We go the outside of Bowman trying to maintain this outside lane, but the grip is just not there. Everyone's too quick on the bottom. We block Michael McDowell off, so Elliott, Bowman, and Bell go by with 26 remaining. As we try to maintain it, we send it deep right there in the one and two into the side of Christopher Bell in the 20 for third contact. He blocks, he gets a big wheel length to the corner. Michael McDowell shoves us past him into fourth, but Larson gets by us for third. Now it's a Hendrick one, two, three here in Phoenix. But we're trying to split that up right now. This Hendrick blockade on the rest of the field. As we get inside the five of Kyle Larson, get physical, take third position away, trying to hold him and McDowell off. Let's say like Elliott and Bowman. Are going to drive away as Elliott has just been so dominant today. So up the stage is clearly a dominant car. And I think Elliott might be well on his way to victory. Lane today, Larson gives a huge shot through the corner. We get loose. We have to lift to save. We do, but then we have too much momentum. We go way up the racetrack. Coming down the track now, racing Larson. He clears us. And now we go down the track to the three, uh, three, four, way down, three, four. Michael McDowell who spins the Harrison Burton big. Rock McDowell and myself, Burton, Larson, all four of us go crashing hard into the outside wall, bringing out the cautioning. Disastrous turn of events there. A big crash. And we'll have to pit, drop all the way to 31st place here with 22 laps to go. But once again, it gives us an opportunity to pull some strategy on the field. As now we have more fuel than everyone else. And of course, uh, more tires, fresher tires right up at the bat. So we're battling for 15th with William Byron to begin this. So fresher tires, of course, can be a good short-term uh, benefit for us. Yes, right up into the mix. And then the uh, fuel mileage can be a long-term benefit. Hopefully we can play some strategy, maybe take uh, right sides only in the final laps of this race to hopefully get ourselves a top five maybe top ten finish 21 laps to go battling alongside byron and hosevar for 14th we clear the 77 of carson hosevar he gets right back at our inside lane but we use the outside here to get a beautiful run on the inside of william byron on the exit of turn two we just take that right down the back stretch underneath him and mike mcdowell he passed both of them quite easily the 13th send it deep into the corner here underneath harrison burton mcdowell back on my inside here now we're going to be stuck squeezed between a rock and a hard place, battling for 12th right now. Here comes Hosovar again. It's Michael McDowell. He's hit him there. I'm just done with him blocking me like that. So McDowell slides, and he goes around. There goes Michael McDowell. He goes spinning in the background. No caution. Harrison Burning gets shoved up in the wall. Byron gets around us for 12th. Now we're trying to hold on to 13th. Here, pressure from Josh Berry behind us. He runs in uh, 14th, having a great run today. And more like an okay run for Barry, you know. Uh, you expect that four car to be top five, top ten with Kevin Harvick. Barry still doing better, you know, for SHR standards in modern times, running top 15. Go to the inside of William Byron, still fighting for that 12th spot. Logano not far up ahead in the 11th, not far up ahead of the road. We both catch up on the 22 and the 19 here. Barry once again giving us a push down this back straightaway. For the bumper of William Byron, go right to the inside of Byron. Joy Logano into the wall, though. We get by Martin Truex Jr. Slide into the top ten. Now back in the top ten here in Phoenix. How about Justin Haley? The Rick Ware Racing driver once again inside the top 10 for the second race in a row. Having a tremendous run, running ninth right now is Haley. That Rick Ware team has really made some vast strides running top 10 on a short track. Shout out to Justin Haley, but we easily get around him here for ninth and start sights on eighth place, Todd Gilliland. A few laps later, we are now seventh, gone around Gilliland, fighting Bowman for seven, making some contact here down the front straightaway. Just 14 laps to go. Uh, getting close to that strategy. Pit stop time. We're trying to get behind Bowen here. We uh, break check Barry to get behind Bowen. He gets loose sideways. There goes a 48. We have to check up big time. Bowman into the wall. There goes Barry. There goes Gilliland. There goes Byron. It looks like that we are down to 10th from 7th after a disastrous turn of events. A few laps later, green flag pit stops have begun. The money stop for everybody. So we jump up from 10th all the way up to 5th. Down the back straightaway. A few laps later, we go from 5th up to the lead here. Get around Brad Keselowski. And now the question is, how is the strategy going to play out? A few laps later, it's like three or four laps to go in the race. We decided it's time. We come in for our final green flag pit stop. We had just let Bell back on the lead lap. It's going to be right size and fuel only. A little bit of slow entry. That pit stop bumping into the back of our teammate of Chastain's car. And it's going to be eight seconds. Come in and out. A great pit stop there by the pit crew. Everything executed to perfection. But what's going to stink is the loss of track positions. We currently come out scored in seventh. And it's going to be... Nowhere near where we want it to be. All the way down in 11th position as we come out of the pits. 
rolling our way through one and two now, trying to get back into contention, but it seems our strategy has failed. The caution will wave, which means we have overtime. So myself, we decide to come down pit road with Ricky Stenhouse Jr. and uh, one, one other driver. It's, it's two to go. I decide fresh tires are worth it. If we stayed on old tires, we'd have been eaten up by the pack and we would have ended up like 24th. So instead, we get four fresh tires and send it really deep there into one and two into Truex, Hemrick, and Kislowski. Now we're fighting alongside Gregson for four, 15th place. Getting used up. We have to be super aggressive on this resource. I'm just trying to get a top 10 finish. That is the goal at the moment. We send it underneath Carson Hosevar for 14th. Get on his inside. And now we have to use the dog leg here through uh, the front straight as you always do. Looks like Chase Elliott is well on his way to victory lane today. And another playoff spot clinch for him. As now we send it way deep here to 3 and 4 all the way to the inside. And 1, 2 to Ty Gibbs. We go spinning. We get saved by Justin Haley. Ty Gibbs completely wiped out. Stacks up everyone behind us. Hosar gets ahead of us for a 12th here. That's the last position we're going to get. Is come through 3 4 the final time. Say like Chase Elliott's going to win this race. We go underneath Hosar. Take 12th away here to the final corner. Chase Elliott wins at Phoenix. He will join myself. And Denny Hamlin in the playoffs, and we will salvage a 12th place finish in a tough, tough day here in Phoenix. Just beating out Hosevar there right at the end. Of course, final race results. Chase Elliott, your winner, dominating fashion, does absolutely deserve the win. Christopher Bell, your runner-up. Larson third, Byron fourth, and a very strong day for Hendrick. John Hart Nemechek with another top five finish. Shout out to him. Nemechek having a great start to the year. Then Todd Gilland, a great sixth place finish, one of his best finishes of his career up to this point. And then Bowman in seventh, Josh Berry, shout out to him in eighth, Bubba Wallace ninth, and Ryan Priest runs out your top tens. Great run for the SHR duo of Berry and Priest getting some top tens. And then uh, Justin Haley coming on P11, a great run for Haley. And that Rick Ware team, which are starting to really vastly improve their performance. We come home 12th place. Disappointing finish, but still we'll take it after where we started. Then host of our great 13th spot and Chandler Smith in 17th. And there's 21st through 30th in the race results. And then the 31st through 40th with DNS being Reddick and our teammates of SVG and Ross Chastain. So Chase Elliott, your winner today in dominating fashion at the Phoenix Raceway. Locks himself into the playoffs for the uh, second consecutive season here in the career mode. And then we, of course, uh, the point stings maintain our regular season points lead by 42 over Byron and Berry. Then Elliott and Hamlin join us in the playoffs with wins. And on points, you got Byron, Berry, Wallace, Bell, Logano, Truex, and Kislowski. Your top 10 in points at the moment. Then you got Austin, Dillon, Bowman, Sindrick, Nemechek, Priest, and Gibbs the top 16 at the moment with Haley, Larson, Busher, and Kyle Busch being the first four drivers below the cut line. Before we head into Bristol Motor Speedway next episode, then there's 21st through 30th in the point standings. Tough season for Chastain so far, then 31st through 40th. Reddick really struggling. And we see all the post-race that we usually see after every race. Fast stop of the race, going to go to William Byron, your pole serve, a 26-63. He had a very strong performance today. Chase Elliott, of course, won in dominating fashion, leading the most laps, being 58 of the 72 laps today. Then Todd Gilland, on the move driver, up from 33rd to 6th, plus 27. Good job to him. And the tough break, you go to Denny Hamlin, losing 31 spots, down from 3rd to 34th, which he absolutely deserved for the way he raced me. Now, lead up to the playoff stadiums. Of course, we have two wins. We're easily in. Chase Elliott just locked himself in with a win. Denny Hamlin locked himself in with a win two episodes ago at Vegas. Byron is in on points. Berry's in on points. Wallace is in on points. Bell is in on points. Logano is in on points. Also, you got Truex is in, Kozlowski, Austin Dillon, Bowman, Sindrick, John Hunter Nemechek, Ryan Priest, and Ty Gibbs your top 16. Haley out by 2, Larson out by 6, Busher 7, Bush and Stenhouse by 9. So until the next episode at Bristol, I hope you all have a good one.